Hey there, welcome to Life Noggin. Chances are you are probably connected to Wi-Fi right now, and because of that, data can be sent to your computer through the air. If that doesn't amaze you, I don't know what will. And since the internet is very near and dear to my heart, you know, without it I wouldn't exist, I want to talk to you about it. Let's start off with the basics. Everything can be eventually boiled down to binary numbers, zeros and ones. My voice, this embarrassing picture of me as a teenager, everything. After all, a computer CPU only recognizes recognizes two states, on and off. Now the main thing that sets Wi-Fi apart from the Ethernet is the way it transmits data. With Ethernet, data is converted into an electrical signal carried by a wire. However, with Wi-Fi, the data is carried by something that doesn't require wires radio waves. The technology is similar to the way your car radio picks up a signal, but with Wi-Fi there's a two-way conversation. Unfortunately, since these radio waves are traveling through the air, they are subject to interference. Weirdly enough, the radiation emitted by your microwave oven can actually affect your Wi-Fi. So to avoid this as much as possible, Wi-Fi signals are transmitted at a certain frequency, either 2.4 or 5 gigahertz. These waves are sent back and forth between your computer and wireless router, allowing for you to be connected to the internet and watch videos like this one. So if I want to send a picture to your computer, the data will be broken down into small packets or tiny groups, and will then be directed to different routers until eventually it reaches you. The packets are then reassembled to form the image. This entire protocol is called TCP slash IP, and it's very similar to how you send an object in the mail. Granted, everything is much more complicated than how I'm putting it, but the basics aren't too difficult to understand. So how addicted to the internet are you? Can you not live without it like me? Literally.